Hey guys, Top Hopster, and today Noah and I are over at the mall. There's lots of cars around, kind of Frogger here. Oh, is Spirit Halloween open? That's gonna be a fun one today. Anyways guys, I thought we were just gonna be going to EB Games with Sunrise Records, but it looks like we're also gonna be going over to Spirit Halloween. Perfect. Oh, and also guys, I was so excited about Spirit Halloween that I forgot to say it, so let's get started. Okay, now I know that I am excited about going to Spirit Halloween, but we have to go into EB Games first because that's why we came today. Now guys, as soon as we got into EB Games, I noticed that they have all of the new My Hero Academia ones for pre-order, so I might be getting these ones today because, I mean, come on, they're pretty sick and I do not want to miss out on these things. I'm not even close to being in that part of the show. No, I know I'm not close, but we can watch it. It's fine, it's fine, we'll get there. I mean, these things probably don't come out for a couple months anyways. I should be there by then. And then it's a little bit lower, they've got a lot of the Pokemon ones, which I've already pre-ordered, so we don't need to worry about them. I did noticed that Noah pointed out these ones here, the top ramen ones with Gudetama. Maybe I'll get those ones today? Actually, I think I already did. I'll have to check. And then guys, in terms of new figures here, I'm not really seeing too much. We see Left Eye here from TLC, some Seinfeld ones, PlayStation exclusive ones. Oh, they got in more of the Red Berry Sour Patch Kid Pocket Pop. That is neat, but I already did get one. But it's still, if you guys are looking for one of these, I definitely recommend coming to EB Games for it. And then a little bit higher, guys, up there, I did notice the White Knight Batman, as well as White Knight the Joker. It doesn't seem like this one is in, no, not at all, great condition. But that doesn't really matter to me because I already did get this one. But yeah, this thing is, uh, yeah, something else. Oh, and then guys, it also looks like they got in some of the Batman scythe. And if you guys want to check it out, there is the figure right there. Like, this thing is sick. Okay, so I didn't get anything over at EB Games, but I did pre-order the entire new My Hero Academia set. So now, let's go into the next store, which would, of course, be Sunrise Records. And now, I know I'm not going to be able to go through all of these because this is their section here. Like, guys, this thing, it's the biggest I think I've ever seen. But I'll try my best to show off the ones that I really want to show you guys, like the Monster Stitch over here, as well as some of the ones from the Golden Girls, which is pretty cool. And then I also noticed, where is it? They got in this one here. Now, I did see this one a little while ago, but I didn't pick it up because I didn't want to carry it. So I think we're going to be getting this one today. And it looks like they also have the Glow in the Dark Kung Fu Kevin, which I did already get, but it is still cool to see it here. And then they also have the exclusive to Chalice Star Lord, a pretty neat figure. And check this one out, guys. They have the Heat Ray Godzilla, which is normally exclusive to FYE, but here in Canada, I guess it's got the special edition sticker on it. And if you guys want to check it out, they have most of the Godzilla versus Kong set. Yeah, it looks like pretty much all of the normal size figures. Oh, and also, guys, I can't forget to show off Leech just because this is such a weird figure. And now guys, after I get the Bugs Bunny, we seem to be seeing it everywhere. And also I'm making really short clips because of how many people are in here right now and it is kind of crowded. But if I can show you guys, here's the best I can probably do with some of the pop albums. We've got Green Day, as well as just a lot of the Rocks characters over here on this side. Okay, no, what are we looking at over here? Gundam mug. Okay, uh, to now- To get or not to get? Well, how much is it? Okay, it's, tw it's 24, but here's the thing. How often do you see a Gundam mug? Every time I come here. Okay, besides here though, and it looks like no, they might only have, they only have three left. I don't know, might be a good purchase today. Oh, I'll think about it. All right, go guy. Okay. okay guys, so I got my Jack Skellington over at Sunrise Records. Now, let's go into Spirit Halloween. So I was looking for a costume to get Grandpa, and I know he probably wouldn't wear it, but I think it would be really funny because he's super into Lego right now. I mean, come on, this would be too good. <laughs> Even the hands, come on. And I actually also remember that they do have exclusive Funko Pops here, so they might just have Pops in general. So I want to come through here, because this seems to be like kind of like the, what do you call it, like a tchotchke section, sure. you know what I mean? Sure. We'll go with that. And uh, they've got shot glasses, they've got eyeball pong, they also have these, so we might be getting a little bit closer, but I don't see any Pops yet. Oh, but now this is something up my alley. They've got some of the Pez here, and I've never seen the taco or that one before. So I might get it today, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Now I decided to come over to the Nightmare Before Christmas section because we thought there might be some pops over here and they also have some Haunted Mansion stuff but it seems like they don't have anything. So I guess let's just keep going. Oh, hold on guys, before we get out of here, I think I might be getting this this year because they did come out with a Ouija board planchette pop and this might be something fun to do for Halloween this year. All right everybody, so we got the Ouija board and I guess let's just keep going. All right everybody, so we are out of the mall and we are about two seconds away from Hot Topic. Actually, we are there. Let's go in. And oh guys, this is cool. As soon as I walked in, I noticed that they got in the brand new Funko Gold figures. They've got the Ice Cube as well as Tupac and Lil Wayne. And I'm definitely going to be getting all three of these to review for you guys in the future. And it looks like all of the pops are buy one, get one 50% off. So I'm probably going to be getting two today. And I noticed that they did get in the newer Ahsoka from the Mandalorian. So this will probably be one of the ones that we snagged today. And then it looks like they also got in the John F. Walker as well as the Queen of Hearts with King, Dancing Richard Simmons. Then a little bit higher, they got in the new Boba Fett. And I also 
want to grab this one because I really do enjoy the updated sculpt on this figure. Like I just like how it looks almost like weathered throughout the entire figure. And I think Funko is getting better and better at that. I definitely want to grab this one so I can take it out and check it out just a little bit closer up. Plus also, who doesn't like Boba Fett? And then next to Boba Fett over here, we've got the Grogu with cookies. We also have Dark Side, some of the ones from the Justice League. Actually, most of the ones, no, never mind two of the ones from the Justice League. Then we've got the Cheshire Cat. You guys always say I'm pronouncing this wrong. How do I say it? Chesh Cheshire? Cheshire. Cheshire. I give up. And then I thought I might as well back up just to show you guys the rest of the figures because of how many they have. They've got a lot of the X-Men ones up there. They've got Static Shock, a bunch of Super Chicken. And then this one here that I've never actually heard of before, but this is a newer Hot Topic exclusive. And if you guys want to check it out, there they are right there. And guys, before we get out of here, I noticed that they got in a bunch of new pop pins. They got this one here, Cheetos. We also have Batman. We've got the Jay and Silent Bob. And then there was one more. Here we are, Panic at the Disco. And I might get a couple of these today just because I really do like getting the pins whenever I see them. All right, everybody, we are out of Hot Topic. It is raining. I'm cold, but we've decided to go to one more store. That's entertainment. So let's go in. Okay guys, so the first place that I'm gonna be looking today is the more expensive cabinet because it seems like they restocked a little bit over here. They've got the Moomin Rider. They have some of the ones from Game of Thrones, Batman, Marvel. Peter Pez is a great one. I really do enjoy that one. I already have it, but it is neat to see here. And then guys, as we go a little bit farther over, we've got like Dune, Diablo, Deadpool, and then we've got the Steve Aoki. This one here is a Toy Tokyo exclusive, him with the cake. That is definitely a sick one. And then guys, as we keep going here, we've got some Ghostbusters. This one for only $14.99 is not bad at all. And then this one for $40. I mean, that's pretty much retail. And then guys, as we get a little bit higher here, I'm noticing some better and better ones. I'm kind of slowly building up to one that I really want to show you guys today, but they also have Crazy 88 from Kill Bill. And for only $40, bucks. I don't think that's a bad deal. Not really. But then guys, as we get to the top row here, we've got like the Goth Stan, Laura Croft Baby, and then the Steamboat Willie. Now this one is uh, $200. I know it's kind of pricey, but you don't see this one very often. And I'm... I'm debating on this one. And then guys, here is this section over here, and they aren't as crazy as the other ones that I just showed you, but there are still some neat ones, and ones that I really like to see because you don't see them very often is the Fallout 4 ones over here, like the T60 Power Armor, and I used to love that game. I played it pretty much throughout all of when I was in grade nine, and that really was a fun one. Like, I have so many hours on that game, and like I said, you don't see these ones very often, so I, I don't know. I'm not gonna get one today, but it is neat to see them. Oh, and I didn't even notice, guys, right above that, they even got in the Nick Valentine. Pretty cool. And then guys, over here, they've got a bunch of 007 ones, Masters of the Universe, Gears of War, and then up here, a bunch of like just more colorful DC ones as well as Hello Kitty, Operation, and that Silver Surfer is a great one. And now that we've gone to the more expensive cabinet, let's go over to the Commons, where they've got a bunch of them. Actually, let me show you guys this right here. It's very similar to how Sunrise Records is with the amount of figures that they have. And they've got some of the ones from MLB, Golf, Crimes of Grindelwald is great, WWE, Adam's Family, and the Gummy Bears. And I think that's pretty much the entire set right there. You know what, guys, really quickly, let me check and I think yeah that is the entire set all five of them oh now this is a neat one guys this one here is a $17 one so not too bad and this is the original Wolverine and if you want to look on the back here you guys can see there is also the other ones in the set and it seems like this is the re-release one maybe it's one of the ones from oh it's 2015 so not the original one but it's still a pretty old figure and then guys over here in the last section that they've got there's some pretty interesting figures and these ones here I believe are all like about 10 bucks I feel like are they normally more than that? Oh no, they all have stickers over here. Maybe they're just a little bit cheaper. Oh no, these are also trade-ins. That's what it says. <laughs> I mean, it's right there in front of me. I, I should have noticed that. But yeah, they do have some interesting ones that I guess wouldn't be just like newer commons. So it is cool to see these ones as well. Okay guys, so I came towards the back a little bit and I was thinking about that Steamboat Willie and I think, I think I'm gonna get it today just because that is a figure that I've been wanting for a long time. And now that I can actually see it in person here at That's Entertainment, I mean, it's perfect. All right, everybody, the target has been Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's been acquired. I'll show it better when we get to the office. All right, everybody, so we are now back from pop hunting, and it's a lot of eggs today, but I'm actually really excited about it because I got a lot of weird stuff that I did not expect to find today. And I feel like you guys could probably tell as I was going through the hunt, it was kind of just like, oh, this is weird, or this is random, or I didn't know this was available yet, and that's pretty much everything that I bought today. And now let's actually start with this. Before we get into Sunrise Records, I want to talk about EB Games because that was the first place we went to, and over there, I didn't actually pick up any figures, but I did pre-order the brand new My Hero Academia set. And a lot of you guys are telling me to pre-order the what-if ones, but for some reason they weren't 
weren't available yet. So next time I go, I will ask because I really do want to get that set to make a hunt for you guys. And now I did only get one figure over at Sunrise Records, but it was definitely a nice one. I saw this one a little while ago at Hot Topic and didn't pick it up for some reason, probably because I was buying a lot of other stuff that day, and I knew that this one would be around for a little while. So today I decided why not get it. And this one here is the Jack Skellington in Snowmobile Pop Ride. And this is just such a random figure, but I am really excited about getting it because of the amount of detail that Funko put into this thing. And if you guys want to check it out a little bit closer up, it's kind of hard to see because of how dark it is. You know what? Let me just take it out of the box. Oh, and also it looks like they finally hit number 100 in the Pop Rides line. I mean, this one isn't exactly 100, it's 104. I actually can't think of what number 100 would be. What is the Jungle Cruise? That one's 103. Um, looking around here, I don't know. No, if you could pop number 100 on the screen, please do. And here is the Jack Skellington on his snowmobile. And oh, I didn't even notice. This is only held on by like a little string in the middle there. So if you're gonna buy this one, definitely be careful with it because I mean, look at that. It's just that little bit of like, I guess vinyl rope holding it up in the middle. It's not actual rope, but if you do let go of it, it is kind of wobbly. So yeah, definitely be careful. But yeah, I am loving the amount of detail that Funko put into this, especially because his feet don't actually they touch the ground on the snowmobile like they're just like slightly above and they're kind of dangling there I think that is really funny if you guys want to check them out from the front there it is right there like seriously this thing's sick and also I do want to mention that Noah pointed it out to me when we were at the store today that I say sick too often in videos so I need to think of some other words as well cool uh, interesting this one is definitely uh, it's just sick I don't know what other words to use all right well anyways that was Sunrise Records and now let's get into the next store where we got something which would have been Spirit Halloween Halloween. Ooh, and I did get something kind of spooky. And you guys know what it was. It was actually the Ouija board. And the reason I got it, and I, I was thinking of getting this one last year, but then it was actually good that I didn't because of what Funko came out with this year. And that is actually the Planchette Funko Pop. And that one there's actually in the retro toys line, and I'm hoping that they do make an actual Ouija board one in the future, but actually now that I think about it, I think the planchette is holding the Ouija board in its hand, so I don't think they need to, but anyways, the reason I got this one today is because I want to do something for Halloween with the Ouija board. I'm just not exactly sure yet what I'm going to do, so if you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comment section below. Like, if there's any questions that you want me to ask this thing, I guess go ahead, put them in the comment section below. And also, I noticed that this is the exclusive edition, apparently, it is the deluxe version, so uh, maybe it comes with extra spirits? I don't know. So now, guys, that was it for the first mall. Then I went over to Hot Topic to grab just a bunch of random stuff. I didn't know what I was going to find, but I wanted to go anyways just in case. And it looks like they got in some pretty decent stuff today with the amount of things that I got. And the first thing I saw while I was there was these, which is the Funko Gold. And these are their brand new premium vinyl figures. And I do want to take one of them out of the box right now just to see how premium these things actually are compared to a pop. And if you guys would like to see a video where I review all of the Funko Gold figures in detail, then also talk about the new ones coming soon, I definitely can do that. And I guess, let's take, let's go Tupac. We'll take him out of the box. And you know what's funny, guys? My mom pointed this out to me, is it's kind of like these are the, what are they, Vinyl Idols? Where it was kind of like those were geared towards, I guess, more of a female audience, where these ones here are kind of more geared towards a male audience, because it's just music and sports. But anyways, guys, here is the figure right here. And does it feel a little bit more premium? I mean, I guess like it definitely feels solid instead of hollow, but then again, it is a bit of a thinner figure But I think the Tupac actually does look pretty good And if you guys want to check him out there, he is right there It's a pretty nice figure. I like it and if you guys are wondering the Funko gold figure sell for about $17 It actually says $16.90. So I guess the pops are 15. These are just a little bit more and would you say they're worth it? I don't know if you wanted a figure that wasn't in the pop style It might be kind of cool and if you guys want to check them out again there They are right there and out of these three. I think I Ice Cube and Tupac are probably my favorite. I don't know, they just made Lil Wayne look a little weird. Kind of punny. I didn't even mean to make the pun, it just kind of came out, you know what, it works. And of course, I didn't just grab the Funko Gold, I also grabbed a couple pops, and these are the two that I got today because it seems like they got in just a bunch of the Mandalorian ones, and I wanted to get more of them because I am trying to get more of these ones for my set, especially because I did want an updated sculpt on the Boba Fett. And I know that the Boba Fett outfit isn't the exact same as the movies, but I still think it is cool that I was able to get one today, and they also keep adding more and more detail to Boba Fett. I think that this one here might be one of my favorites, especially the way they did the helmet, and actually, let me pop 
it out of the box because I did mention I wanted to see it a little bit closer up at the store so we might as well do it now also <laughs> sorry about that and here is the Boba Fett here and you know what's kind of funny he actually feels weathered as well like it's not just the paint he's also very bumpy on the sculpt and I think that's really neat and is there supposed to be no that's weird the inside of my dent is not painted I don't think it's a really big deal but if you guys want to check that out there is the Boba Fett right there and do you guys see what I'm saying like right there where it's supposed to be dented it's green where it's supposed to be silver like let me show you guys the box here if you guys look at it let me see if I can give you a good angle maybe there um, you guys can see it's supposed to be silver all the way through but for some reason it's green on mine and I don't know if that's on all of the figures because the insert was covering that part of the pop, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, so I don't really care. And if that is going to be happening on more of the Boba Fetts, I definitely recommend checking that before you purchase the figure. And then guys, the other one that I got, of course, was the Ahsoka, and I don't really know why I bought another Ahsoka. I have like four or five of her, and I swear she has the same head sculpt for every single one, and all they really do is put her in a new pose with the two lightsabers in a different direction, but I did want to get the one for the Mandalorian because I do enjoy Ahsoka still, but it's just, I mean, they're so similar every single time. I mean, the Clone Wars looks the same as the, the everything. I don't know. They all look the same. But at least for this one, she does have a new outfit on, so it's not like they're pulling a Pikachu where it's the exact same every single time, just in like a slightly different pose. So you know what? I'll take it. I mean, I'm gonna have to take it. I bought it. And then guys, right before we were about to leave, I noticed that at the counter, they actually had some pop pins, so I grabbed every single one that they had. I think so. I think I did. Yes. Yes, I did. I was a little hesitant because there was a sale where if you bought one, you got one a certain percent off. It was like 30 or 50%. I'm not exactly sure and it would have been one too many items if I got all four but then Noah wanted to get a pin as well so I've got Noah's Loki pin here I'll have to bring that one home for him but there it is right there and he wanted that one because it's from the new Loki show I mean as you guys probably know I don't know why I have to explain that and then I did kind of show them off in the store but I will show you guys all of them again and here are the different enamel pins that I got so here is the Batman one and I believe that this here is Earth 2 Batman it definitely looks like it. it's not Red Sun it's probably Earth 2 then we've got the Brendan Yuri here from Panic at the the disco and I wanted to get this one just because I mean I do have the pop and I know that that one is kind of expensive so it's cool to have a pin as well and then the next one that we've got here is Silent Bob from Jay and Silent Bob and I don't know if they're gonna be making more of these ones in the future possibly making Jay I kind of hope that they are because there really is only two main characters in the movie and then guys the last one that I got here is the Chester Cheetah from Cheetos of course and I try to get every single Funko Pop ad icon thing whenever I see them so I'm glad that I could get this one today and also I'm noticing on the back here did you guys know this that Cheetos is actually a trade Trademark of Pepsi. Interesting. And so that was everything that I got at Hot Topic. And then we got one more thing over at That's Entertainment. And this is probably the craziest figure we got all day. Well, actually, all month? Probably. And I know I kind of showed it in the store already, but I do want to build this up because it is a big deal. And this one here is the Steamboat Willie. And it's even the one with the Disney Store logo on the top. And if you're wondering why that's a big deal, it's because this one here was only available at the Disney Store. And these ones actually go for a lot more than the ones that just say Disney at the top instead of Disney Store. And if you guys want to check out the Steamboat Willie, there it is right there. Like, this is just seriously a sick pop. I did it again. Uh, an amazing figure. No, it's not the end of the video. I didn't know that happened when I just clicked. I gotta watch out for that. But also, this is something kind of interesting. If you guys are wondering if this one is real or not, this is something that really made it like, this is definitely a real pop to me. And if you guys look on the bottom here, it actually has the sticker that you would find if you were to go to the Disney store where it says USA 1250, Canada 1650. And you guys can see there that is right there in the corner. And I mean, that's so cool that it's still on there. And if you guys are wondering how much I paid for this one, it was $200. And I don't know where the sticker went. It's probably somewhere in inside of the bag. Yeah, here it is right here, guys. I paid $200 for this figure, but then it also came in the hard stack, and that is Canadian, and I looked it up on the Funko app, but it goes for about, I think it was like 150 or something like that. So for it being Canadian, the hard stack's probably about $10. It's like a little bit more than what it's actually worth on the Funko app and Pop Price Guide, but it was definitely worth it to actually see it in person. And you know what, guys, just for fun, because it's only on the stack, I think I'm gonna keep the sticker there just for now, just to show how much I actually paid for this thing. And I'm a little hesitant about this, but I kinda wanna take it out of the stack just to see the box a little bit closer up. Maybe we'll take it out of the stack but I won't take the pop out of the box. 
Maybe. All right, everybody, the top of the pop stack has been taken off. Now let's just slide the figure out. And I mean, seriously, guys, this has a really nice box on. And I think that was definitely worth it to pay like just a little bit more as well. Because if I were to buy this on like eBay or somewhere online, you never know what the box condition will look like when it actually comes, you know, to you. When you actually get it in hand. That's what I was trying to say. But anyways, if you guys want to check this thing out, there is the Steamboat Willie right there. Like seriously, this thing has a mint box. And the paint job on the figure also looks pretty good as well. Like, I haven't seen one in person before, but I think, I mean, what it looks like to me, it looks pretty great. And if you guys want to check out the back of the box, here's all of the other figures that came out at the same time as Steamboat Willie, and it's just a mishmash of different Pixar as well as Disney characters, but I think it's really cool when Funko used to do that. Oh, and also, this is something interesting. They used to also put the pops on the bottom of the boxes as well. So for this one, you get just like the corner of the Steamboat Willie, and I think it's really neat that they used to do that, probably because they didn't have as many legal things to put on the bottom. And now, you know what, guys? I think I am going to take this one out of the box because I noticed when I put my finger here, it just kind of slid open without actually ruining the box. So yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Like, I'm trying to keep this box in the nicest condition I possibly can. And here is Steamboat Willie right here. Wow, this is a nice figure. And if you look on the bottom here, you can see that it says Funko LLC 2011, www.funko.com, made in China, copyright Disney. And it even has that little like text on it that actually matches with the back of the box. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about here, it actually says A098. Can you guys see that? It's like right there under where it says copyright Disney. I think it might be a little hard to see, but that is it right there, guys. And then if you look at the back of the box, it has that exact same text, which is actually right here. So that definitely, well, at least it 99% sure makes it real, but it is nice that it does have these same numbers on the top and the bottom. And I'm not doubting it. I'm just letting you guys know to look for these things on older Disney figures. And now if you guys want to check out the Steamboat Willie, there it is right there. Like seriously, this thing is just such a neat figure. And I'm so glad that I could finally get this one in my collection. And now I know I've talked about this a couple times in videos, but I am going to be moving to a new office. And when that does happen, I want to have like an area where I can show off all of my expensive figures that are maybe like, I don't know, $100 and over because a lot of you guys always ask to see my $100 and up figures. So I think it'd be really cool to have just like a section of all of them. And this one would definitely be one of the ones that goes there. And here we go, guys, back into the pop stack. It goes where it's probably never going to come out of here until we talk about it in another video. And well, anyways, guys, that is everything for today. And please let me know in the comment section below what you guys would have picked up because I think there was a lot of really great figures that we saw today. I just couldn't get every single one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. Okay, now we'll actually end the video. See you guys tomorrow. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, never drop a low. Mama called me and she happy with the grow. Never ever yeah. fall for a body that's a no. Just bought the kidney and bought a million options. So the stock and I stopped doing the green and I'm rocking green. bringing the peace. I'm bumping that pot in the car. Pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got a bad